rampant ninja-related crimes these days. The White House is not the exception. And we're playing Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, the 1988 action game by Data East of the beat-em-up variety. Now, I played this game a lot when I was a kid, especially in the arcades with my relatives, my cousin particularly. In fact, we, um, we would just call it the, uh, the Mama Chichuahua game, because that's what the, uh, the attack cry of one of the bosses in this game is. Right now, we're watching the attract mode. We got our two heroes, I think. I think our heroes are Blade and Striker. If anybody wants to double check that for me, I'd appreciate it. And we are on a quest to save the president from ninjas. Now, I gotta throw in a coin here. Now, I have this on free play. Probably gonna need more than five credits, but that's a start. President Ronnie has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? Darn right we are. Alright, so. We are going to walk around, we strike, we can do punches and kicks. Jumping. If I can get the jumping working, there we go. We knock our enemies' attacks out of the air sometimes too. You can charge up a powerful attack, which I always screw up. But you have to not be moving when you release the attack button. I'm almost positive we can perform a jump kick. Like a spinning jump kick. There we go. Now right now we're walking along the top of this fence. But if we wanted to, we could go down there on the ground. But we're going to stay up here because the dogs can't get us. Not Karnov. Karnov's bar, cafe and bar. Well, Karnov is actually the name of that boss right there. He's also the main character from another Data East game. Also called Karnov. He's a circus strongman and fire breather. He's not the only guest appearance that we get in this game. Another Data East character is going to have a, a little cameo later. Alright, down he goes. Now, I think I've mentioned I've been wanting to play this for a while, but the, the truth is I've actually tried playing this, I think, three other times, and each time has ended in disaster. So I'm hoping that it's going to work out this time, and we actually get to upload this video. So here we are on stage two, we are riding on the back of a truck. If we fall off the back of the truck, bad things happen, so we're going to try to stay up here. Ninjas on the other hand, they can run alongside, they can hang off the side of the, the trucks, they can do pretty much whatever they want. They're ninjas. Alright, and that was a red ninja. He just dropped a time power up. We have about a minute to complete this stage. When we grab a time power up like that, we get some extra time added to it. That's not the only power up we can get. You saw earlier I had some nunchucks. We also get a knife power up as well. We can cans of soda to restore our health. Now, even though the enemies come in all different shapes and colors, they're more or less one hit, one kill. Alrighty. That was our first continue. Let's see if I can get through without using up too many. And this is the Data East Dudes truck. Now we'll grab that knife. Prefer to have some sort of power up from none. Although I prefer the nunchucks, to be honest. 
think they have a further reach. Okay, boss fight time. And you got this purple ninja here with two really long claws. Now, purple ninja with really long claws. I'm thinking Shredder. Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. But given at the time, I don't know, maybe I would have been thinking Freddy Krueger or Wolverine. Alright, stage three. And now we're in the sewers. They had to seek a sneak a sewer stage in. But this is the stage where we're gonna meet the enemy I was telling you about. The boss whose battle cry we would use as the name of the game. Well, what is that bamboo stick doing floating down here in the sewers? Hiding a ninja, that's what it's doing. there that makes colognes of themselves. That's what we would say to describe the game. Okay, that's two continues. Ah, didn't like that, did ya? Actually, I'm doing a little better than usual with these hard punches. Come on, you. Yeah, Shadow Clone no Jutsu. We should be able to avoid most of them. Gotta worry about these ninjas more than the dogs. Felt right onto the sword. We got a dagger. Had a dagger. And the dog showed up. Oh, and look. There was the human fireball. A friend from the Diablo playthrough came up. There and got punched. Oh, the problem though with the nunchucks is you can't attack up the ground with them. Yeah. 
Here we got Road Warrior Animal. This is nasty drop kicks. I think we can hurt him more if we drop kick him in the face. Come up here and fight? No? No, not doing too good. Try that again. Throw a few coins in there. Sound like you're upset. I'd be upset too if I kept getting jump kicked in the face. I'm bad. All right, through the sewers, through the forest, and over the train. Now this isn't too different than the truck stage, so this one's a bit longer. Just like the truck stage, we do not want to fall off. Bad things happen when you fall off. Soda. Yeah, more nunchucks. Yeah, too bad we don't get the dual wield. Okay, be very careful of these, what do you call them, caltrops? Kind of spikes that you drop on the floor. Did I miss... Did I miss the cameo from Data East's other character? It's supposed to happen on this stage. It's not quite as impressive as Kornob's uh, cameo, but you know, it's still a little something. Now, there we go. Atomic Runner. That was another Data East game. I never got to play it though, so I don't really know much about it. You're kind of this atomic superhero, and you were just kind of running quickly through the stage. Chainsickle dude here. Yeah. 
I don't really have any good tactics for dealing with this guy. I usually didn't make it to him when I played. Oh, did that count? Yeah. Yeah. Kicks seem to be working. Time for stage six. This is the caves. Got it. your doors after me. Oh, yeah, be careful with the stalactites and stalagmites around here. Now that would have been real nice if it just dropped and hit them all with a drop kick. That's what I'm calling him. This is his little spinning uh, his bow stuff. This guy can be a bit of a challenge, too. Most of them are. Oh, we're doing pretty good for a minute there. Stage is actually the last stage. Now we're in the ninja's hidden base. Apparently, somewhere in the mountains. They had to tr take a train to get to, but only before going through the woods and the sewers. Ah, you missed me. Ah! <laughs> 
Road Warrior Animal now, basically. Took out Karnov and the Road Warrior. Now Shredder's back. We call him Mini Shredder. Same color, though, huh? Mostly stay up there in the helicopter and throw shurikens down at us while his dogs take care of us. And we gotta get up there and actually fight him before we run out of time. He 
hits pretty hard. He's got some sort of... President Ronnie. I'm bad. Hey dudes, thanks for rescuing me. Let's go for a burger. <laughs> so there you go. That was Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, or just Bad Dudes as a lot of us happen to know it. And we get to celebrate by having a burger with Ronnie and all of the Secret Service back there. Well, uh, Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja was a reasonably popular uh, arcade game by Data East. It actually made its way to a couple of different systems, including the Nintendo Entertainment System, which I owned it for and played a lot. But I still think the arcade version is the way to go. Um, if you want to play this, uh, you may have to hunt down a copy for the Nintendo or another system. I'm not positive if the arcade version ever made its way anywhere, like on any compilation collection, or even on, say, Live or PSN. Glad you enjoyed the game. Watch out, Data East new games to come. Now this probably isn't the last time we'll be taking a look at Data East games, but I hope you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next game.